Good day, everybody. This is Dana Massett, and today I'm going to be giving you an exercise. This is especially so powerful and so strong for empaths. Empaths is a fat, fancy word for sensitive people, people that are sensitive to other people's emotions, thoughts, and energy. So empaths are the people that can walk and step into the room and feel the emotions of the room. Empaths are the ones that know when you're upset when you don't even know you're upset. A complaint that I get from empaths over and over is social anxiety, picking up other people's energies and not being able to really sort out what's mine and what's theirs, and also boundaries. And I've talked about boundaries. I talk about boundaries so much in my practice. It is so important. So one thing I want to teach you is how to work on boundaries. Working on boundaries will help you be successful in social situations and not walk away literally carrying the weight of the world because that's just not appropriate and healthy. And also, it will help you have stronger equal exchange relationships where you're not always the caretaker and the therapist in the relationship, where it's an equal partnership, equal friendships. You're supportive, they're supportive, and whatnot. So what I want you to do is just focus on your breath Get into a comfortable position and begin to feel this ring around your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is your stomach. So I want you to start visualizing this ring around you and the ring sits about one foot away from your stomach, your solar plexus. So feel this ring of energy. If it's helpful to you, feel free to place a color on that ring. And just settle into this feeling of this ring almost becoming a part of your energy field, a permanent part of your energy field. This ring is serving as a form of gentle protection. When you connect with another person's energy, you connect and plug in to that ring. So your energy from your solar plexus connects there and their external energy connects in that inner tube. When you're done, you both disconnect. What typically happens is when an empath, or even if you're not noticing or recognizing that you're sensitive to energy and you're an empath, just your normal everyday person, when we connect with someone, we're, we're taking in their energy. We're sucking in their energy, we're putting it in our stomach, and we're trying to sort out, what is this person feeling? What are they thinking? What is this person about? That is not healthy because once you start taking in other people's energy, not only do you mess up your digestive system, you'll start having issues, but you can't really sort out what is mine, what is theirs, what is this, why am I feeling depressed today, why am I feeling sad today. Taking care of yourself, your own emotional being is enough, but when it gets intertwined with other people's feelings and emotions, it really, really gets challenging. So close your eyes again, and I want you to imagine someone that you have challenging boundaries with. Visualize someone in your life that kind of pushes your boundary, maybe takes a little bit too much of your energy and time, and I want you to visualize them here with you now. Maybe you're feeling a little triggered, a little overwhelmed, but I want you to remember and feel that inner tube around you. It's a little safety net. It's a form of protection. I want you to feel them connecting to the inner tube and at the same time, I want you to meet them in that inner tube. And maybe visualize a conversation or just feel the energies exchanging just in that ring of energy. Coming back to your breath. 
allowing your breath to bring you back to this moment and begin to disconnect. Feel that person disconnecting from the ring of energy, the inner tube, and you as well come back to yourself. Open your eyes when you're ready. This is a practice that I want you to practice in meditation, but also practice in your everyday awake life. So realizing when you're having energetic exchanges with people in conversations, notice if you have the inner tube up or oops, maybe I forgot and I forgot to put my barrier of protection up and now I'm feeling a little heavy and off balance. That's okay. It's going to take you time for this to become your new pattern. But no, even in your closest romantic relationships, there should still be this, I don't want to call it protection, but it's healthy boundaries. Nobody should be overwhelming your space. You should always have a sense of who you are as a person and connect when you can. Sorry, that's my French bulldog. <laughs> so always have a sense of self and a sense of the relationship. So it's two different, hey, shh, 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 shh. It's two different identities. Yourself is your own identity and the relationship is its own identity. When you are in relationships, your identity shouldn't change. Oh, my relationship is this identity now. That's where we're confused. So I want you to take this tool with you into the real world and into your meditations and really see if you start feeling better, if you feel more grounded, if you feel more centered, and just test it out. Namaste.